Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to day two of Going Dutch again. We are in Groningen, which is all the way in the north of the Netherlands. We're in a crazy old hotel. Making some content. Get some breakfast and then ride another 130 kilometers. And the weather is going to be amazing. We're going to go to Spark to get some coffee and a pizza and beer afterwards. Today will be another very good day. Good morning, kids. Hello. Good morning. It's time for another exciting day on the bike. Have cool trip. Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's head to Spark so we can drink a coffee and then uh, start riding. You put another vest on. You're not Different color. I didn't want to join the team anymore. <laughs> Today, I'm black vest. Yeah, okay. Just be different, you know. Spark. So today we have 130 kilometers to ride, super flat, a little bit windy, but then when we come back, people here at Spark are going to bake us pizzas. Of course we have another beer waiting for us, I don't know what it is, and we can watch Amstel Gold. Drop in the comments who you think will win Amstel Gold tomorrow. <laughs> Mike, important question, am I allowed to fly your drone today? <laughs> We will scan the area. I mean, if there are trees, there is one tree. It's not allowed. If there's a if there's water, a tree, or a house, or a pole. <laughs> there's a drone radar for airports and stuff, and I make a drone radar thing for trees and uh, buildings. <laughs> and everything higher than two meters, it's not allowed to, uh, to fly. If you are an app developer and you like our videos, <laughs> drop a comment. <laughs> Fifteen minutes into the ride. Open bridge. <laughs> yes, mine. How many open bridges do you think we will see today? Um, four. I go for ten. Ten. <laughs> Two. It's Groningen. <laughs> What's this? The, the ears of Budem. Secret Service, CIA, FBI. Top secret. Top secret. The Area. perfect place for a live stream, I think. <laughs> another day, another snack selection. Shout out Coca Cola. Shout out. Second day. Yeah, warm by it. Man, how good are these pancakes? Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I'm not was eating a pancake right now, but... You wish you were. Yeah. These are really good. Yeah. Because mine just rated these an 8 out of 10. Yeah. And yesterday's were a 3. So they are really good. Yeah. So if you get pancakes, get daily cakes, not Jan. Daily, daily chef. chef. Daily chef. The Alma also likes them very Banana much. Banana pancakes. Hike a bike. Bike computer showdown. Gemak, gemak. While Jelmer uh, empties something and fills up his uh, tube. I'm leaking. <laughs> and in the meantime, we can do the showdown between Wahoo Rome, Garmin, 
10.30. Hammerhead crew number two. We should do top trumps. Awesome. If you think yours is best at something, you say it. And then if we cannot beat it, you won. And then we give points. Okay. I start. The Karoo 2 has the best screen. Most visible and brightest. Yeah. Agree? One point. That's mine. I think mine is best and in how easy it is. Not too much of colors and different yeah. options. Yeah. So it's just very easy to use. Intuitiveness. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. think just mine takes it. And well, who Rome takes it? For a beginner like yeah. me, it really is a good option, I think. Do you think the best 1030 is best at something? Best battery life. What definitely. is it? I used it yesterday and today already. 10 hours of screen time, I think, approximately. Still, 76% of battery. Wow. <laughs> well, I already had to charge mine yesterday, so with 10 hours battery life, the Karoo 2 doesn't win. I think between 25 27 hours of battery. Sick. And I have radar, power meter, heart rate monitor, cadence, all sensors, auto brightness, still great battery. I'm very happy with that, with all the long rides we do. Uh -huh. Integration of other apps, Komoot, Strava, Training Peaks. I think the hammer is very easy because you have an online dashboard where you can sync everything to and it automatically syncs everything every time your thingy goes to Wi-Fi. The same with Wu. Syncing automatically yeah. with Wi-Fi. Is it? Yeah. yeah. If you want a route on it? Yeah. Yep. yeah. If you want a route from Komoot to go to the hammerhead, you do have to log into your dashboard and sync uh, the dashboard. So maybe then the Wahoo takes it. Yeah. And I have another good point. You don't have a phone with you, or your battery is dead of your phone. You can do everything with this thing. You can see supermarkets, you can see highways, you can see everything on the map. <laughs> you can uh, find a route, all the maps are in there. Uh -huh. Navigation, there are too many options maybe. Elevation. Uh, profile thingies. I win. No. We win. I think, no, no, no. The Rome definitely doesn't win because it's terrible. You can't see anything. No. You can't see how much elevation is coming, when it is coming, how steep. It's terrible. No. At the Karoo, you can see exactly, okay, this climb is 15 kilometers. There's so much elevation that I'm going to get. Can you do that? When you come to a climb, you don't need to select it or something. You recognize it and you see it one kilometer before the climb. You see it like in Tour de France. You see the whole climb, the colors, the sections, how long it is. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. And then when you're on the climb? You see that all the time where you're on the climb. You can zoom one in, zoom One or out. five? Yeah. Okay. This, I think it's a tie. You can say a tie. Yeah. This is very good. Last segment. Who do you think the device is for? I think Jasmine already mentioned that the Rome is probably for enthusiastic and maybe also beginner cyclists because it's the easiest to use. Yeah. I think Rome is more like a training computer. Yeah, it's definitely not for exploring, that's true. The maybe the is exploring Rome, right? Yeah, but it, that <laughs> you cannot do you cannot roam with the Rome. <laughs> no. It's not possible. If you want to go somewhere where you don't know where you are back to home, you get it's the worst like route ever. Right. It's not uh, not acceptable. Talking about training, the 1030 is definitely the training computer. You yeah. can see everything. You can see it looks like you are on Zwift. You see your power profiles. You see a timeline which data you use. You see power dynamics from all your pedals. But I think the Garmin is not then for people who want to train, but for trainers. For trainers, but also for people they want every data possible. So it's for nerds. On the, on the, yeah, definitely for nerds, nerds and analysts. I think it's an all so I should computer. get one because <laughs> <It's very laughs> I like the data. <laughs> Hammerhead, pretty easy to use. Great screen, not so great battery life. Cool brand, yeah. Cool brand. Prices. Prices. Five ninety nine. Three eighty. Three eighty. Three eighty. Another tie. Jimmy, just mind me. Okay, Yelmer, final verdict. Which is the one for you? It's hard to say because I only have the experience with the uh, room. Yeah. But I'm uh, eager to, to compare them more. We never talk about our computers. No, we never talk about any information in general. Exactly. Just Information segment. Finally, for all the people that have been asking for more information in the videos, here's your information. Now go back to writing, please.
Yep. Okay, back to emotions. Aggressive, so yeah, 6.0. So, so do you smells free? Tastes fruity, yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah. think it's a match with the pizza. Let's try. Match the gold update, Mike. See, is doing well. Come in now from the Hague. What a guy. Boys? Girl, I think we're done for today. Tomorrow, Utrecht. Mountains, mountains. Back to the office. Are you joining another day? Maybe Friday. I don't know. I need to go fix it. Kasia. Maybe shout out Kasia. Shout out to Kasia, the wow. best wife in the world. Yeah. Also shout out to Leon. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.